who do people think make god seeker builds who do y'all think bro who do y'all think is the ghost writer of these builds bro who do you think they get their builds from me okay let me stop hyping myself up but the build that i just made right now it's so crazy guys look at the damage look at the damage okay yes this build can one combo now i'm not gonna cap because i keep my content real i'm not gonna have y'all thinking that you're getting something that you're not right so i might actually talk about the build now most people you will get them extremely low okay but if they have a physical resistant kit like they're just one of those players who go and they farm for the best physical kit in hp kit you can kill people with like 520 hp in no time but if they have a physical resistant kit then no but you're still going to do over two bars of damage to them which is crazy for assassinate like come on now it's still free damage this is the easiest build i've played on i've been ganking the competitive guilds i've been ganking people top 250 with this build and yeah it just goes crazy honestly so i'm gonna talk about how you actually make this build and why it does so much damage all right so these are the stats for the build and i'm gonna give you guys some advice real quick if you want the assassination talents in trial what you have to do is get a couple assassinations so you can just go to bandit island server hop and just start assassinating the npcs over there and then in the trial of one you actually get the assassination talent so yeah you could go and just assassinate people early on if you want to progress like that and yeah all right, so the first thing I did in a trial of one was get 35 Thunder Call. The reason for 35 Thunder Call is for static withdrawal. This talent is so overpowered for PvE as well. You could just easily farm layer two. They can't even fight back. So yeah, Bone Keepers don't fight back. The Bounders don't fight back. So yeah, you can just easily farm layer two and they won't even hit you, okay? So Static Withdraw is very overpowered. Static Withdraw will also mess up people's parry plus the Deferred Enchant on that. Bro, you just get free hits, honestly. And after the 35 Thunder Call for Raging Static, what I did was I went 100 Agility just for all the Assassination Talents and for the Swift Shade Talents as well. You got that one talent where you can actually pick up, knock people from a distance. Which is really good because I have this thunder call talent that makes it so if anyone else picks them up, they automatically drop them and then I just pick them up right after. The reason I went 75 charisma on this build pre-shrine is for manipulator and unnecessary theatrics. What this basically gives me is 20% more damage to my criticals. And guys, I'm on a dagger build. So I have knife's journey, I have true pain, but yes, this talent is very overpowered with the dagger critical, guys. Very overpowered. If all of this procs with the enchant young shore, oh my god, that would be so disgusting, bro. The damage would be crazy. But the reason you go deferred is because once someone's like 30% HP, right? they automatically get back up from the assassinate so the deferred actually bypasses that so you can still one combo with the assassination because they don't get to 30 percent right away okay so that's the reason why you use deferred on assassination builds because if you don't then they will get up from the assassination when you get them below a certain amount of hp okay so that's why i use deferred and then after the shrine of order i went 30 strength then i went 30 fortitude that's just for lose your mind now you could get that if you want because you're just going to do so much more damage but you don't have unfazed on this build so you might get you know you might lose your mind the insanity might mess you up in fights i'm just saying and you don't really need it so yeah after i got all of that stuff done what i did was went five intel this is just for nullifying clarity and then lastly i just put the rest of the points into weapon got the dagger talents and yeah that's basically how you make the build now what you need also is iron sink because you can eat gold and it gives you a 10 percent damage increase which is very good and this build one cycles etheron as well it's very good for uh pve for bosses and stuff like that too so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the content this build hopefully i'm gonna be honest this build might get nerfed like i got threats over this build it's not that serious bro this build might get nerfed though so many people are just mad bro you start killing like the competitive guilds 
on a build like this bro they start raging so hard i don't know why they take the game so seriously oh yeah one last thing i got annoyed because it was hard to assassinate people like you have to hit them from behind but i actually found that you don't even have to hit people from behind to assassinate and you can see by this clip right here Oh yeah, the build's pretty OP, pretty creative build, I like it a lot, if you enjoy the content, like and sub, also check out Awagers and Faded too. they're both pretty good PvPers and they did help me test out this build, Awagers, he ganks a lot and Faded's a god seeker, he's pretty good at the game, so yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and see you guys.